Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for another episode of what I wore this week. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park, this is Park Avenue, and I have tons of fashion content for you to check out. If you love outfit ideas, unboxings, luxury hauls, styling videos, lifestyle content, I've got something for you. So be sure and check out some of my other videos and when you find something you like, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit those notification bells. Make sure they're turned on so you don't miss any of my uploads. I upload a few times a week and I don't want you to miss anything. So this week, I have some really fun outfit ideas for you guys, some that are very realistic, easy for you to recreate, and we're still giving little pops of summer fun, but we are transitioning, so I am mixing in some of the pieces that I do plan to wear, like literally as soon as the weather cools down just a little bit. It is still very hot out, and it's still summertime, but I am so ready for this transition. So this look today, I am wearing kind of like a vampy makeup. I'm doing a dark lip. This is Damned by NARS. I love this lip color. It's one of my favorites. I'll link it in the description box for you guys. I've taken out my braids. I'm giving a little bit of like sultry fabulousness. <laughs> this is what I usually wear my hair like when I wear it straight. So this is it for now. And I'm already thinking about like what I wanna do next as far as my hair. I wanna experiment with some things, but we'll see. But this is like my go-to look. Honestly, I wear my hair like this majority of the time when it's straight in. Now, before we get into the video, it is time for today's Instagram shout out. And today I am shouting out School Rush. She commented under one of my reels and she wrote, love your style and vids. I feel like you are very relatable. I see my body type. I see my style. I see practicality. I see affordability with a few investment pieces. I see real life, kudos. Thank you so much, School Rush. I really appreciate that because that's honestly my whole channel wrapped up in one comment. I do love to show you guys high, low outfit ideas. I mix expensive with inexpensive, but the goal at the end of the day is to always find pieces that you can wear over and over that create an overall expensive look, even if the entire outfit wasn't very expensive at all. I know a lot of you are new here, so check out some of my other videos I have in what I wore this week playlist is an entire playlist of all the videos that I do every single week for you guys. And you can get so much inspiration, so many outfit ideas, and you can get a true sense of what my channel is. And I just love to recommend those videos to people when they're looking for something new because I have done so many of those and I've styled so many of the same pieces over and over, new pieces, and just really showing you guys how you can get the most out of your wardrobe and how to really shop your closets. That's like so major because so many ladies I mean, myself included, we buy things and it's in the back of our closets and we never see it again. So check out that playlist. I'll link it for you guys in the description box. Definitely check it out. And if you are new here, I wanna welcome you and I wanna give another shout out to Deidre Dazzling. So she is a YouTuber, a fashion YouTuber, and I got some comments from some ladies letting me know that they came over from her channel and that she recommended my channel. So I just wanted to say, hey, thank you so much. I wanna welcome you guys here and I will leave her YouTube channel, Deidre Dazzling's YouTube channel in the description box if you guys wanna check her out. All right guys, now let's get into these outfits. Here's the first look I wanna show you guys. And this dress, if it looks familiar, you already saw it in my recent Zara haul. And I just wanted to show you guys another way to style it. All I did here was I threw in a pair of sneakers. I'm wearing these Adidas, very comfortable, a pair of classic white sneakers you cannot go wrong with. And this dress, I love the fun color pop and it's perfect for right now, but because of the material, it's giving like a Chanel tweed vibe. You can wear it into the fall and even into the winter months, depending on what like accessories you put with it, like tights and boots and maybe a leather jacket, something like that. But I do love this outfit idea because you can easily switch out some pieces and transition it. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this dress with a pair of sneakers, just so you can get an idea that you can wear it with something like super, super casual and have a cute look. And then for my bag, I am wearing my yellow Saint Laurent sac de jour. This is in the nano size. This is my recent bag purchase. I have really been in love with this bag, you guys. Can you tell how much I love it? I've been styling it with so many outfits. Some you might have seen and some you haven't seen yet, but there's gonna be more coming up, so stay tuned. But I do love this bag a lot. I love this look, very easy, very simple. And if you don't have this dress, let's say you have a denim dress or you have a black dress or just something in the baby doll vibe that you want to bring into the fall, just pick some pieces to ground it. You know what I mean? You can bring some of these summer pieces into the winter or into the fall at least, but you just have to add some pieces that really ground it. Like some great boots, you know, sneakers and a leather jacket or boots and a leather jacket. Tights, I love tights. I know some ladies don't love tights, but I really do because they are an easy, fun, and they can be very inexpensive. So that's just a really great way 
to really change an entire look, which is why I want to show you guys this dress with these sneakers, just because I wanted you to understand that you can do something super, super casual with this dress if you wanted to. Here's the next look I have for you guys. And this is one of my favorite kind of looks. I love shorts and a blazer. So what I'm wearing here is a blazer from Zara. This is actually half of a suit. I have the matching shorts, but I didn't want to wear them here just because I wanted to do something just a little bit different, a little bit less gold because the shorts also have gold buttons in the front, which is fine for me, but I do want to show a different look. And you can mix pieces that aren't necessarily made to go together. You can make them go together. So I want to show you guys that as well. So the blazer is from Zara. The top that I'm wearing is from Lulu's. In a recent Lulu's collab, I got this top and well, it's actually a bodysuit and I love it. It fits really comfortably. I love the fact that it looks like a camisole with a cowl neck, but it is a bodysuit, so it's gonna stay tucked nicely. And for shorts, I'm wearing one of my favorites. These are a trouser style short that I got from Trina Turk. If I can find something similar for you guys, I'll link it. But this summer, I have been linking the shorts that I found that have been very similar. So I hope you guys have gotten your hands on them because even as we getting into the cooler months, you can style these up with like tights and boots. That's like my favorite kind of a combination. I love shorts all year round. It's just a matter of how you style them. And then for shoes, I went with my Gucci mules. I love, love, love these. They are making their comeback. It is the perfect like throw on and go shoe when you want to still like dress things up a little bit. Love these. And I love how they even wear. Like even the older they get, the more I wear them they still look so good. So I'm gonna wear these into the ground. And then once they're, once they're worn into the ground, I'm gonna have to get another pair because I love these. And then that's it. For my bag, I just threw on my Gucci little wallet on a chain. Very simple outfit, very chic. This is something I would wear if I wanted to be very sophisticated and a little bit dressed up, but I was doing something where I had to walk a lot or I wanted to be really, really comfortable. And it didn't like exactly require me to wear a heel, you know? Very, very chic. If I'm doing like a lunch date or something like that, this is something that's super cute and perfect to wear because the AC everywhere inside is on 10,000. So you can throw this over your shoulder and it's a look, but you're comfortable, you're cozy, and you just really look great. Throw in a pair of fabulous shades too because that will work with this look. Here's the next look I wanna show you guys. And this one is a lot of fun. And I wanted to style this top a little differently for you guys just because I've worn it a couple of times and I wanted to show you guys another way to wear it because I really, really am obsessed with it. I'm wearing this top from Lulu's. This was also a part of their recent collab and I love this top so much. I would love to have it in black as well. It's just the perfect, comfortable crop top and it's just so flattering and very flowy. And I styled it up with my one of my favorite pair of wide leg trousers. These are from Express. I always recommend sizing up one or two sizes and tailoring them down to fit your body so you can have that nice flow. And then I have on a pair of pumps. These are Sam Edelman. I love these suede pumps and we're getting to that season where you can bring in those yummy suede. And I thought this was a lot of fun. I love this pairing. The overall outfit is very, very, flattering, super gorgeous. This is just such an easy look. And if you have any events coming up, anything down the line, and you wanna keep something in mind, this is a look that is so comfortable to wear, but you're gonna look really put together. And those are my favorite. I mean, you cannot get any better than that. And then for my bag, I just threw on my Saint Laurent. It's a wallet on the chain, it has a really nice tassel. It's a very elegant bag, but I've also worn this bag extremely casually, like with t-shirt and jeans and a pair of sneakers. I just love the way this looks. This bag like instantly elevates any outfit. It works for any sort of like black tie affair, any kind of event or party. I reach for this bag a lot for special occasions. And I also, like I said, have worn it very casually. So it's just been a really great versatile piece in my collection and one that I don't see myself letting go of anytime soon. So if you're looking for some investment bags, I would recommend this one because I'm telling you, it's gonna keep you covered for a lot of different occasions. You can't fit a ton of things in it, but when you're going out, you don't need a ton of things anyway, you know? Here is the next look, and the jacket that I'm wearing is from Express. I love this. Now, I've had this for a while, so I'll have to find what is available for you guys, and I'll link it. And I will also continue to link jackets that I think are so cute. Obviously, as we're entering into the cooler months, I'm gonna be wearing my jackets more and linking some similar options for you guys. And I love this one because I love camo. You guys know I love camo. If you have been watching my channel, if you're new here and you haven't seen the video, I will link it for you guys. The video that I did when I style camo a lot of different ways. It's one of my favorite prints. You can do so much with it. And it's a very interesting neutral. You can wear it for so many occasions. You can wear it into the office. You can wear it on the weekend. It all depends on how you style it and what pieces you pair with it. But I love camo. I think it's just one of those really, really great, interesting classic prints that just don't ever get old. 
but this jacket is camo but in a different way the print on it is actually a snake print so it gives that appeal that it is camo but when you get close up to it you see that it's a snake print so i really like that i think it's a more sophisticated camo a very chic you know elegant kind of a camo i thought that was a lot of fun and then of course it's cargo style so it has all the pockets and all that but I really love it, very comfortable. And then I'm wearing my slip dress underneath. This is a satin slip dress by Vince. I also have it in black. I really recommend and I love this dress. Very comfortable, super flattering, and you can style it a few different ways. I'm gonna show you guys in some future videos how I am taking my slip dresses and skirts into the fall and winter months. I love them so, so good. And I always recommend that you ladies get a few in your wardrobe because they're so simple and easy they're just timeless so you're always going to be able to wear them even if you don't wear them for you know a few seasons even a year or so these are the kinds of pieces that they always stand the test of time so i always recommend these i love them and this one is in a really nice like midnight blue but this exact dress like i said i have in black i've seen it come in like an olive color i've seen a few different colors so whatever's available now i'll have for you guys linked in the description box and then on my feet i'm wearing my favorite clear heels from zara these are just an easy go-to for me when i want to wear a shoe that kind of like disappears this is the perfect one so if you're looking for something like that it has been available i'll link it for you guys if it still is but get your hands on it because this fall where i live you guys know i live in georgia so it's not super cold right away so i'm still going to be wearing outfits with maybe like sandals or my, my mules, things like that. So I'm still gonna incorporate some of those summer pieces so you guys will see that and see how you can also um, pair that together in your own wardrobe. Now here is the last look I have for you guys. And this is an all black look. And you guys, I can feel that I am definitely into the all black looks right now for this fall. I think I'm gonna be giving a lot of all black looks. We'll see because I have my moments when I'm like into my color pops and when I'm into like these all black looks. So we'll see. But I know you guys love when I give you some all black looks. And this one is it. This is for you. I love this. So the vest that I'm wearing is from Zara. I'm so happy that vests are on trend right now because I think they're so perfect they're very chic that menswear inspired look is my thing i love it and i do want to incorporate more vests and menswear inspired pieces into my collection so i'm gonna try to snag a few more before this trend ends because even though it is on trend it's gonna be classic it's a, it's a look that you can always pull out it's timeless but when things are on trend they're that's just a good time for you to get your hands on them because a lot of different brands at different price points are making these pieces because everybody is wanting it so you'll be able to find a few that you love so i will link to what zara has and i'll link to some other ones too that are available and some that i have my eye on you guys might want to check those out but they're so good so good you can layer turtlenecks under them button-up shirts, you can even do um, nothing underneath like I'm showing you here, I'm just wearing a really nice bra, which I will also link in the description box because the bra that I'm wearing is so comfortable, so comfortable, I love it. And I think you guys will love it too. And if it shows a little bit, it's very pretty. So this is one that you guys might wanna check out. I will link it for you in the description box. But back to the outfit. Now with this vest, it's a tweed style, so it's giving a Chanel vibe, I love this. And then all I did was add a brooch to it. I think that's an easy way to change up a look. If you wanna refresh something you've had for a while, you can switch out the buttons or do simple things like that to get a new look. But love, 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 it's giving very rich, I love that. And then I paired it with these jeans from Zara that I got very recently. In that Zara haul that I mentioned earlier, I showed you guys a pair of jeans. They were like a lighter wash or medium wash. It was the same jeans. And then I also mentioned in that video that I ordered the same jeans in black, but they didn't make it in time for the video. Here they are. Love, love, love. The fit is exactly the same as the other ones that I showed you guys. I love them. The length, they are very long. They are definitely tall girl friendly. I am 5'6", approximately, and I have on about a four inch heel. Those clear heels from Zara, which is what I'm wearing in this outfit, they're about four inches. So if you're tall, you're gonna be fine with these jeans. It has a nice high rise. I just think these are worth it to, to at least try because they're a really great pair of jeans. They're so slimming, I love them. The one thing I do have my eye on with these jeans is the waist gap. It does gap a little bit more than I would like, but I don't think it's worth getting taken in just yet. I'm just gonna wear them and see how they relax. And if I get to that point where the gap is just too, too much, I will take them to get tailored down. But overall, a really great pair of jeans, and I definitely suggest you guys trying them on if you can get your hands on them.
And for shoes, like I said, I'm wearing my clear Zara heels. And my bag, I went with my gold Saint Laurent Lulu. Love, love, love this bag. I am currently actively looking for this bag in patent leather. So gorgeous. Patent leather is my favorite like fabric finish. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's timeless. And when the fall and winter hits, it's like the perfect material. It just adds a nice sheen and shine, especially to all black looks because another thing I love to do is add a little bit of like different texture. So even if I have something all black, like wearing the tweed vest with the, de the black denim, and then um, let's say I had the black pant leather bag, it would be a few different textures, but an all black look. So that's a really great way to keep things interesting, but without having to you know do too much. So if you love monochrome looks, sometimes look at different textures. It can really, really punch up an outfit and if you feel like you want to implement some new things into your style but you don't want to stray away from your like you know general aesthetic then you could just add some different textures it'll make a huge difference so that is it you guys those are my looks for this week i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments which look was your favorite which outfits can you recreate and of course i will have links to everything that's still available in the description box and whatever's not available i will link to something similar but if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna check me out on some other platforms, I will have links to everywhere you can find me in the description box. Instagram and Pinterest are great places to check me out as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.